This board, first thing I can say about it, a butter person's dream. It's like hot knife through warm butter. I mean, just easy. As soon as you just lean on that tip, you don't even have to worry about your edge catching. It's just fantastic. Board Insiders, real riders, real reviews. What's up guys, this is Tyler with Board Insiders and today I got to ride the Rossignol Rock and Roller Amptec. They milled a, a couple millimeters of the core off 360 degrees all the way around the board. So what that does is keeps your effective edge up off the snow and just makes it so much less catchy. It's so forgiving. I mean, you can land backwards off a jump on this thing and as long as your weight is in the right spot, you're probably not gonna catch an edge. You'll just, you know, slide right out of it. So that was super fantastic. This board has rag cut technology, which is awesome for the jib roller technology. It makes it so the harder I press down, it makes the effective edge and the contact points switch a little bit on the snow so it comes down the board so I can make a sharper, tighter turn depending on how hard I push down. A little camber underfoot from here to here and then early rise from here out. It's pretty nice. It's stable because of that regular camber, but then you have all the playfulness on the tip and tail, so it's super forgiving. For the early rise board, it had considerable pop. The thing will boot you off the jumps pretty nicely, but I would recommend this for a jib lover and a butter lover. Jibs and butters are what this board was made for. It's a 152 and I'm like pushing 200 pounds. So like the 20% camber in between the feet is great for me. And it has a 80% rocker on the outside. So it's like stiff, like on a nose press or tail press. Uh, I'm kind of big, so a board that flexes in and soft as this one would usually wash out and it's stuck together for me. That was the first thing I thought when I hopped on this. Is like, oh, this feels like my battalion, but with the battalion, they didn't do it underfoot. And here they do, and like I was noticing when I was getting onto boxes doing front sides of uh, backside board slides, that that edge, you didn't have to worry about catching. It just slid down nice and you didn't feel nothing snag because, you know, fresh new board, not detuned or anything. It reminded me a lot of being on my snow skate when I hopped onto it because like when you turn sideways and power slide into it, you could lean back a lot farther than you normally would or doing tail butter, spinning around in circles, you can just go forever and it's like that edge is not gonna catch. But I would recommend this for a jib lover and a butter lover. Jibs and butters are what this board was made for. I would recommend for this definitely a jibber rider, you know. You can hit your jumps, but you're mostly gonna wanna be sticking with your boxes and rails, maybe some side hit quarter type things. Um, it could be a beginner board, it could be a, it could be a advanced board, you know, it just depends on how you want to ride it. I'm, any, kind, any kind of rider can ride this board, but this board is for rails. Uh, you're not going to take any big jumps with this board, considering the fact that all the edges are raised. Definitely the jumps would have to be groomed if you're going to hit any of the jumps, otherwise you're going to be a little sloppy. For straight grid, I gave it a 94 because I like to be in the park and I like a progressive uh, board and like if I'm trying to jump on and learn some back lips or front boards or anything like that, I'm not really going to catch an edge. I actually tried to spin as hard as I could onto the, uh, onto the dance floor out there and I caught it back seat and then like uh, I just leaned forward and put my arms a little forward and sat down solid and locked in on it. It was great for me. Shred cred on this board I'm giving a 92. It was really fun on boxes and rails and perfect on those butter tricks and the flatlands and even buttering off of takeoffs was amazing. I gave it a 98 out of 100 on my shred cred. Fantastic board. I loved it, I would go buy one. I'm actually trying to ask my boss if I can go take it to the rope toe right now. <laughs> Great board. It's just a little different. So I mean, for me, when I was riding it, right when I started out, I hit a little jump, not knowing what was going on, kind of got squirrely. But like, as I ride it around, I feel if I just press a little bit towards the mountain, whichever way I'm riding it, if I just press a tiny bit towards the mountain, I'm pretty stable. And uh, it's not that hard to find an edge. 
you just have to ride a little aggressive and lean into it and push down. You got, I mean, that's where the style points are anyway. It's what, what the board's made for.